Hi guys, I'm, I'm going to show you a really cool way to um, bypass the little embedded YouTube ads in the movies. Um, like when you, have, when you bring up a YouTube movie and you're watching the movie, there's the ad they force you to watch before watching your movie. I'm going to show you how to bypass that. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go download Firefox Mozilla. Um, I, I've already beaten YouTube the punch and I am currently downloading it and we have 53 seconds. Uh, I do not condone doing this. I do not support doing this. I do not care, frankly, what you do to each their own, but I am here to um, spread the wealth of information and um, allow you to make your decisions whether you believe it is morally correct to do so or not, or whether you're not just, you know, this is, this is your, I'm just giving you the knowledge. It's up to you um, how to use it. I could use a very corny Batman quote right now, but I will choose not to. Okay, so once you are done downloading Firefox, and now you have to run through the setup, um, it's just the typical setup. Right now, you know, you have to extract it, um, you have to okay it, you have to hit the next, you know, I love that. You gotta hit the next, gotta make it your default browser. Well, not necessarily default, but it will ask you to do so. Well, once you do all that and you launch Firefox, um, the next thing you need to do is you need to go to Google, you need to type in something called Grease Monkey. Well, you probably won't need to do this. I need to do this. I will probably have a link for you in my description underneath this YouTube video. So, it's an add-on for Firefox, which, which is, that's what Grease Monkey is. You have to download it. Um, there's a download time after it's done downloading. Blah blah blah. Okay, it's gonna. You have to, you're gonna have to authorize it. Hit install now. Okay, now I'll say Grease Monkey will be installed after you restart Firefox. By restart, they just mean close Firefox, the window, and then reopen it. Oops. Ron Paul. Anyways, uh, so once you op reopen Firefox, it has installed correctly. You now need to go to a website called User Scripts. This is a website dedicated to um, uh, user scripts for Netflix or for uh, plugins. So here we're going to put a uh, remove YouTube ads and again I'll probably put a link for this in my description um, I just whoop I think I just hit YouTube wrong one <coughs> excuse me it's gonna search for a while hopefully there we go so it brings up a whole bunch of them. Okay, uh, this is where you have to look closely. See, I'm showing you the way you do it in case the ad or the link that I put in my description never gets broken or anything like that. Um, this one says ad remover. Um, there's there's a few of them here that that would probably do the trick. Um, but there's there's usually. There's, there's one here that's really fantastic. Oops. And here we go. This is it. It's the remove watching one. Um, simply all you have to do to install it is just hit the install in the upright corner. Uh, again, you can play around with this, find scripts that you like better than others, or whichever ones you want. So then we can go to youtube.com, there seems to be some latency on my internet, and uh, oh, uh, Vivo is notorious for, for playing, ah, oh, I didn't install it. So then after installing the user script, notice there are no ads um, anywhere, not even in the video minus, okay, this is the advertisement of course, the little small advertisement, though that's that's something we cannot help. But 
the the inline YouTube ads are no longer there. I don't know why I'm on Lady Gaga. Let's get some a day to remember up in here. You. <laughs> But notice this is a Vivo and they're notorious for having those ads that you must sit through and watch before you can get to watch the movie. But in this case, we don't have to. So I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day.